It was great to work with Ben and Gavin. You know, Gavin's been one of my favorite directors. Warrior is one of my favorite movies. So to have the opportunity to work with him was great already. And then add Ben Affleck into the you know whole equation just made it that much better. Because everybody has an under, uh, underdog story in their life. You know, one point or another, it was the trials and tribulations that you have to kind of fight through and overcome. And sports movies are reminiscent of that. That we're all human. We all go through mistakes. We all need help to, you know, come back. And if people lead with love, you know, we can help those who, who need help most and they can overcome it. And in turn, maybe um, it can help us. Gavin was the reason I got excited for this movie. Gavin was the, the person that gave me confidence that this movie was going to be, I don't know, something that I could believe in. Um, I, I read the script and like I think I had this perception already in my mind about like sports films. I was like, oh, it's going to be a cliche sports movie. But then when I got to the callback with Gavin, I was like, oh, this isn't going to be a cliche sports movie. He was very, he was open. He was open from the jump and very welcoming and very genuine. So like. I didn't feel at all that he was going to make this anything cliche or I trusted it. And working with Ben was, Ben was constantly generous. And I was quiet a lot shooting in the movie and shooting the movie, but you could just feel he was always there and he was always answering questions that everyone had and he was always very generous. And in our one-on-one -on -one scenes together, Ben had always, he was always giving. Like, so like there's coverage. So like, even if they're getting my side or, and he's not even on the camera, he's always completely in it and just always giving every moment. So it was just, I, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything else. Everyone's been there. Everyone's been in that position where they don't, they don't even have faith in themselves or have confidence in themselves that they can reach this thing. But so to be able to see someone come from this and to climb that ladder that seems that's painted like as this impossible feat, it's like oh, it gives someone a little bit of it gives someone a little bit of hope. It gives someone it lights a little bit of a little bit of a fire in you that you're like oh okay, I can do this. I can I can take another step and see what happens. I can take another step and see what happens. Ben Affleck was a pleasure to work with. He taught every single one of us, I think, a different thing. And I think every single one of us walked away with something different by the end of the film. Um, for me, I think he taught me to never lose the joy in acting and, and to never lose the, the pleasure in the craft because once you do that, then it becomes a job, right? And you never want to be doing a job, you want to just be having fun. And that's also something Gavin O'Connor said, the director, he said, uh, he tells his wife when he leaves for work every day, like, all right, I'm going to work. Or she says, have fun at work. And he says, oh, I'm not going to work. I'm going to play. And I think that's something that you really got to keep in mind is that what you're doing for your profession needs to be what you love. And I think he taught all of us that. Everybody wants the underdog to do it. I mean, I, I think just in life, it's not fun when the person that is supposed to win wins. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess there's exceptions like LeBron James. You see, he's the greatest basketball player ever. I mean, him and Michael Jordan, and when they win, it's just amazing because they're the greatest. But in general, like, you want to see that comeback. You want to see that 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 underdog that that wasn't supposed to make it, that wasn't supposed to you know do anything and prove you wrong. And that's what March Madness is all about. You know, that's why we love when Duke loses to you know number. 15 Mercer or whatever in the, in the brackets in the you know first round and yeah I, I, I just think that's why it, people get such a joy out of watching underdogs. I think audiences should take away a story of redemption of hope. Um, I think a lot of people may go into this thinking oh this is just you know a Hoosiers, uh, Mighty Ducks, you know so, uh, your typical sports film and then Halfway through it, they're going to be like, oh, wow, this is like some real stuff. This is like a really uh, amazing, powerful, moving story of redemption. Gavin O'Connor, man, he's, he's really easy to work with. Uh, I watched some of his movies that he's done, and I kind of got a little intimidated uh, until I work with him. I'm thinking it's going to be something complicated. He's so easy to work with, plays it simple. Uh, great at giving direction, he's a great leader, and I had such an amazing time working with both of them. The greatest experience of my life. Not everybody can relate to hitting a last minute shot, a game winning shot, I know I can't, uh, but I know that people can, can relate to adversity, tribulation, overcoming obstacles in daily lives. We always face something every day, so when you see somebody, you know, overcoming struggle, 
I don't know, it does something to humans, seeing somebody come from the bottom and work their way up, because we all can relate to it, and it gives us a special feeling inside that makes us feel like we can accomplish anything. The main message I would probably say is that if you have the right support system around you, around people that love you, and you have the mental determination and dedication to do something, you can overcome anything, uh, anything that you want to do. Uh, you know, growing up as a kid, I heard that if a lot of people told me you need to fix your ways now because when you're 30 years old, that you kind of get stuck in your own ways. I think that's nonsense. You know what I mean? I think at any age, at any time, if you have the mental ability, you can overcome anything. And there's a second chance, and no matter what age, it is possible. You can overcome anything. I think it has another layer of redemption to it. Uh, you know, Ben's character has undergone some really tr some sort of tra some tragedies in his life, and so in, in addition to all the sports material, there's also a personal story that sort of lays over it all, which I think really makes it just a unique, rich movie. It was interesting when Ben and I read the script, originally he, they had sent it to him to see if he'd also be interested in directing it, and he was like, the first person he thought of was Gavin, and then it turned out Gavin had already read the script and was really passionate about it, so it felt very karmically meant to be. But I think obviously Gavin's done Warrior and Miracle, and obviously he knows the sports world well. They made The Accountant together, which is a very different movie, but they had a great time together, so it all just sort of, it really lined up perfectly. It's a real, uh, you know, look at having a second chance in life. It's about redemption. It's about teamwork, and it's about the camaraderie that sports, the way sports bring people together in a way that almost nothing else can.